Hey everyone, so for today's guided practice we're going to go over a couple of the questions that are part of the skill that you're going to be working today, working on today in IXL. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working to write and graph inequalities from a given word problem. So this will give you uh, a little bit of a little bit of extra um, practice with uh, figuring out what and what inequality will go with a certain situation, simplifying the inequalities if you need to, and then graphing those numbers on a number line. So, uh, Jeremiah is volunteering at the Groveland Center's second sale, second hand sale. He is setting up a clearance bin with several small items. All of the items cost in the bin cost at most 50 cents. So I know I need at most 50 cents. Let's see represent the amount in cents that each item in the clearance bin might cost. Which inequality models this story? So, ladies and gentlemen, we need to look at these and figure out what the cost can be. So, if it's at most 50 cents, that means it could be 50 cents or less than 50 cents. So, we need to think of things that are less than. So, our C amount needs to be 50 cents or less. So, it could be 50 cents. So this is going to be a less than, greater than, or equal to. So we're going to put the equal to part down. And then no more than 50. So if 50 goes over here, this has to be less than or equal to 50 cents. So we get rid of that part. So we need something that looks like this. C is, sorry, I wrote that backwards. We want C is less than or equal to. <laughs> 50 cents. So this will show that C is going to be less than or equal to 50, and that's what we want. Everything has to be less than or equal to 50 cents in his box at the sale. So we're going to pick the one that looks just like this right there. C is less than or equal to 50, and then we need to draw a ray with the endpoint to show this inequality. So remember, we want the closed dot because in, in this case, um, 50 cents is an acceptable amount because it can be at most 50 cents, but then any amount less than 50 cents will be acceptable. So we put an arrow moving that direction on our number line. We'll check it just to make sure we're right. Okay, check it out. We're good to go. All right. So there you go. That's your first problem. We'll try this one again in the next video over, uh, and then we'll get you going on your work for today.